good, brother. How are you doing? Center is Paul. I think he's 
offering some <coughs> private lessons at the film studio too. So I wasn't really like, okay, Circus Center is going to handle But then I am receiving lots of like emails and interest. Questions actually, you know? because I tried to sign up, I would love to join. Um, they need your uh, approval because it's more, it has to be intermediate too, I think, or, or a promotion too. So I can't sign up myself. Um, I can email them uh, and then. This is what I'm talking about. I don't think they should go to me. I'll talk to Tuziana about it. It's not my workshop. It's his workshop. It should be totally different. I can only guide him towards to the students because I know you guys. You guys are my students. And I will go through the list. I will individually talk about your level. Okay, guys? And then just say, Diana, search my approve me. Then just say that. And then uh, I'll talk to them too. They shouldn't do that. That's kind of stopping lots of people to meet him. So I'll just address that. Then it's just like Link walked him in Mongolia. Lots of people really love his class, including me. You know, that's why I invite him to the. Um, Circus Center, like, I really love his, the way he approaches his students. And then, you know, the teachers, he's wonderful artist, but they sometimes they have no, I don't know, no skill to teach. Like, uh, it's just different, you know, but I really think he's a wonderful in both ways. And it's always nice to have someone like him, you know, that's why I really wanted him to come every time he have a chance He should join us and I want you guys to meet him and you know that. <clears throat> And then So I tell if you're interested just sign up and then if you can't um, Just if Circus Center requires certain things just let me know that. Okay, and then Oh, Julie, you didn't do your handstand pickups. Can you go through that? Yep, no, I'll do that right now. Through your handstand. Okay. Huh? Yes, I'll do that right now. Okay, perfect. I would love you to keep encouraging that just to warm up your shoulders, wrists, and connect with your overall thigh. So I love it to so it See, that's perfect. Only thing so your shoulder is a little swinging, you know that, right? How can you lock that? This push to your palm. Yeah? And then try to connect with your elbow. Soon as when you connect with your elbow, Shana, Diana, yeah? so you are able to lock your shoulder though. Yeah? That's why it's a number one thing, elbow. Yes, Oh, no. um, so, do you have any spare fish, uh, uh, fishing pole cases for to travel with archery? Okay, no worries. I brought them, like me, Taco made, like, uh, when we brought them, like a hard, like a, oh, curtains, he cut them, okay. made case, you know? Okay, no worries. <laughs> um, well, let's ask Sadie. Okay. Let's get the local students, maybe get it from Akila, then we can order it Akila again, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, just do that, yeah? Okay. Da, thank you, Akila. Da, da. Now, Josie, let me see. Adriana, you did your handstand, yeah? Okay. Da. Julie, a little bit more, and then Diana, if you're done, I would love you to do your straddle jump up. Can I see that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, very good. Julie, just don't pull your shoulder away from your fingertips. Stabilize your shoulder right on top of your palm. When you kick, you're rolling it backward. So make sure watch that. And then I would love you to just like, Try to control your butt. Engage. Control means engage your lower core, lift your butt. If your butt is up, your feet will go. Because your 
part is not lifting all the way, then we get stuck. Again. And then we can start it. Uh. So can you do your straddle jump up or press up? Diana, let me see, shoot, take it, bend your knee, shoot oh. your butt to the wall. More, tuck your shoulder, bend your knee, and then shoot. Do you wait, Diana? Your butt is not moving as a waiting act. And then you're bending your knee too much. And then basically you're getting stuck there. So you really want to shoot the butt, don't bend your knee too much. Mm -hmm. As soon as when you bend your knee, you're basically, there is no elevation. It kind of stops there. Ah, move the butt, just shoot, shoot, tailbone to the wall. Support your core. Tap it, stay opening. Can you activate your butt a little bit more there? Tap. Okay. Sometimes I would love you to just make a video and watch it. Tap. And then, for now, not your feet. For now, you just need to fly your hip in the air. That's the goal. Let's, I, I try to move it up. Mm. I maybe need more power in the legs. Not in the legs, it's in the shoulder, huh. and then also you need to just like a movement by your core. It's like you can throw your butt stuff, but you're not throwing it. Your leg is not, there is no power, there is like a, you're engaging your leg too much, that's why it's kind of stopping you. So don't focus on the feet too much. Just fly your butt, that's the number one thing. Just fly it without thinking about your feet. Don't move the feet. Ah, just do that, Diana. Until to the wall. Do that more stronger. So don't open your leg yet. Down, one, two, three. Shoot. Ah, keep encouraging that. I just uh, also Julie watch that. Uh, that's for you also. So, and then you need to do 10 on each time when you do the jump ups. Da, let's go to our lunge. Everybody can start stretching. Da, da, lunge. Feet forward, gently, and center the chest. Da, and hands on the knee. Da, tuck your lower core and ribs. Push to your knee to round your hip flexors. Have your bounce from the hip flexor. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah, arms up. And can I see the robot girls through the hip flexor? Bend your front knee and drop the hips. Tuck the core to roll it. Don't lift yourself though. Roll it on the spot, Judy. Don't lift your hips. Step. Try to like really roll more back. Step. Now, hike it. Yeah? Oh, Diana, tuck the ribs, tuck the ribs. And then go on your back knee. Front knee straight. Elevate your right hips. Da, go to your split. Front knee straight. Da. Right hips back. Bend your elbow and keep bouncing it to, to the ground. Oh, Diana, I love it. Ah, arms up. So, Adriana, da, Shana, da, engage your core to roll it. Julie, just right hips. Don't move up. Just rotate it right there. Can you do that? Rotate your hip. Engage your lower core. Da, 
go to your other side. <clears throat> go to your lunge. Yeah, bounce it, push to your knee, bounce, bounce. To the ground. I think Adriana needs to move the knee a little bit in. Back knee, left knee in. Ah, it's a little bit out. Yeah, arms up. Shana, that's such a beautiful extension, so very nice. Tuck the core and roll the girls. Yeah, pike it. Go on your back knee. Front knee straight. Chin on your shin. Engage your knee. Yeah, split all the way. Yeah. Make sure a Triana front leg, center chest, back leg, center the body. Yeah. If you're flat on the floor, arms up and start rolling it. Yeah. Engage your core to lift, lift, lift. Ah, Kita, make sure to engage your core to press. Engage your back knee. Hips to the ground. Engage your back knee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very nice. And then you can go to your froggy. Mm -hmm. Engage your lower core muscle, tuck your ribs, and then start rolling. Slightly back to the center. Just a movement. Just start rolling it. Okay, now we can go to our middle split. Engage your knees, hips slightly back, Adriana, and then back back. Tap, flex your heels, point your toes, and just move. move. Start aging your core to roll it in and out. So you can engage your upper back, arch. Ah, Diana, you can bend your elbow. That's a little bit like, ah, heavy though, Diana. You just don't want to go too heavy when you're not all the way warm. Yeah, that's it. Sit back to your pancake. Check your knee at point. Yeah, feet forward now. Yeah, feet together, hands forward, and then feet together, hands forward. Ball pike. Diana, make sure squeeze right on top of your knee muscle. Ta. Engage the knee. Ah, and then reach. Yeah, Julie, chin on your shin. Can I see that? Put your chin on your shin. Yeah, ah, that's it. Okay, you can go to your second set. I would love... Yeah, Adriana, I can't see you very well when you go to doorway, but can you complete the doorway or you can able to do it, right? Yeah, like, you know the exercise. Yeah. Akisa, Diana, Diana, Julie, you please go to your doorway stretch now. Julie, after that we can do the another set. Ja? Ja. Um, Shana and Soy zigzag lunge. Right. And then move the high split. Ja. Ja. First position. Do you feel? Hands a bit more. 
you can do more things. Keep encouraging your pike. Sit up. Bottom knee. Feet down as much as you can. Mm, that's a very good one. So, after 30 seconds, you can elevate your leg all the way up. And then, hold pike. Sit up. Hold pike. Can you put the leg all the way up and then second position to your feet? Bottom feet make sure move it forward. So, Diana, bottom knee and then move forward more. Bottom feet forward more. Maybe step middle of the doorway. So, grab the door frame. And then you pull from the door frame, hips more forward. So bottom knee straight. Yeah, now. Juicy, just switch to your other side. So, Diana, go to your side leg. Skip. So, Diana, left hand up. Work from there to push chip. Make sure you really roll into your right side. More, I would love you to center the door frame. Diana, ah, more. Even more, and then extend your leg. That's how you can connect with your extension, though, Diana. Bring your right hand in front of your leg. And turn your chest. Yes. More push. Yeah. Wow, that's very nice. And then you can go to your other side. So, so juicy, I thought that. But no, so you need to still do the front leg skill, juicy. That's what you missed earlier. Still face forward, but move your bottom leg forward. So, move your right feet forward. Ah, so you grab your door frames. Put the left leg high as you can. And then, ah, connect with your extension right there. Juicy, that's your second position. Third one, turn. So, turn to the other door. Um, ah, side leg, excuse me. Okay, um, Makisa, you don't want to use your weights on the ankles. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys are together. I was sad that like, you can't get together, train together in Linky, you know? That would be very sad. I know, this is our first time taking one of your classes in person together. <laughs> I know. I was waiting for you yesterday. I'm sorry, I didn't want to come and potentially risk getting people sick. That's why I figured it's best to give it one more day. Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. Step. Um. So, can you activate your arm? It's into the wall. The juicy come. You can go to center of floor and finish your second set. Step. Diana, I still want you to stay more towards to the left. No, no, no. no. To the left. Yeah. Get closer. Then you can connect with your hips, you know? Extension, your hips, and see that more you can be able to connect with your extension, right? Yeah, that posture looks wonderful on this side. The other side, it wasn't turned 
rotated enough to make sure watch that. Dashana, did you complete your book? Take high middle split. Side one was beautiful, Shana. Just do your soy. Two more. Two blocks and reach the girls. That. Julie, get your chair back leg on to your bubble block start. Adriana, now go to your bubble leg high zigzag lunge, bubble leg high split step. That's why after you complete that soy, we're going to do our leg scale. And then we will go, try to go with it. Complete your third set really quick, Shana also. That gets start your shoulders and back to face. Yeah. Don't stick with your fingers settling. Get uh, fingers out, out more. Uh, allow your mobility to your elbow, you know? Shanna, make sure reach to the ground. Then Diana, sit back to your pancake and then you can go to your hike. Yes, ah, reach forward, reach to the center and then feet together. One more hike. Then. Julie, you need to move a little bit forward. Don't put the front leg out though. It needs to be middle of the mat. Your front leg. Ah, center of the mat. Yeah, pull your chair and then sit to the ground. Yeah, sit. Squeeze your core. Sit on the ground. Yeah, bounce it a little bit, Julie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So, Diana, can you go to your chair back leg high? Split step, get your chair just like Julie. Look at her back leg on two yoga blocks, and then make sure do your third set also. Um, Adriana, ah, okay, okay. So after that third set, Adriana, Julie, Dashana, Soy, Big Scale Girls, and then third set, yes. Just get very nice one set, Shana. It's a short time. Just one, get one perfect one, perform it, and then go to your third set. I wish you guys came to Las Vegas, oh my gosh. Next time, definitely come to this convention, okay? Have you heard about it, Diana? So I'm sure you did. I'll be sharing on my Instagram information though. <laughs> okay. You should come next time, sir, because it's just nice event and you can able to see everybody there and you can meet wonderful teachers and contortionists. It's our party time. Yeah. Shana, definitely next year. Tell your girls, Adriana. Julie, Diana, Soy. Yeah, I'm personally inviting you to this. Yeah. Ah, it's a very, very good event. Yeah, bend your elbow and lift it. So fit right over your head. Oh, look at that, Shana. I love it. Hold it 30 seconds. Yeah. Diana, don't activate your back leg. I know that's in, engaging, extending, but then I kind of want you to just a little bit more deeper connection to your hip flexor. That's why I want you to stay there. Now, without lifting your back knee, can you press on the back foot? It's supposed to press the hips down when you do that. It's very different. It's very like deep internal and this is what I want you to connect. Yeah, Adriana, very good bounce, but I would love you to also squeeze in deep, make sure reach the ground. That's also good for 
Think, make sure, complete your push-up, complete your push-up. Ah, otherwise you will miss that last part of muscle connection if you keep doing it like this. That, that's why before you get tired, I prefer if you do full push-ups after the warm-up. Yeah. Mm, very good. Julie, I love it. Julie, all the alignment looks good. Your extension looks good. It's beautiful. I just want you to keep encouraging your rubber band this week. And then, guys, I will miss you for three weeks or two weeks. I don't know. Um, we have a substitute teacher, sir. Christopher will come in sub my online class, also in-person class. So, he that good classes like legs, it's a little bit different approach, but I really think you would enjoy his class, sir, and continue training, girls. Yeah. And then, bottom knee. Shana, beautiful Shana, da, roll it next to your ears, the pull the feet, perfect, that's perfect. Da, now without losing that top body part, you just move your bottom feet sideways, and then that's a very aggressive rotation to Shana, and then I just want you to, you never want to lose the center and then rotate your bottom hip that's it you just sit into your posture that um Julie when you do that grab your under the feet and then lift it da? under the feet elbow up and then lift bend your elbow and then lift your feet right over your head bend your elbow up, bend your elbow up to the ceiling. Ah, keep encouraging that extension, Julie. It's a very different approach, though, when you do that. Ja, can you move it to the side now by lifting it like that? Roll this hand and try to bring it over your head. Open, 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 up. Then move it. And then bend your knee, grab your feet with your left hand. Ah, and then roll it up. How far can you extend it? Oh, perfect. See, you always have to push yourself further like that. So, soon as when you like, kind of stop, if you stop, then, then we can't really reach deep though, Julie. Yeah, go to your other side. That was very nice. <sighs> Diana, bend your elbow up to the ceiling. Not down, up to the ceiling. Elbow. Other way. See, you're just holding it like that. Elbow, and then up. So not up in here. Yes, yes think. Um, I'm gonna run my act. Should I leave my music on in the room or? Oh, you can leave it in the room, too. Okay. Yeah, go for it. Oh, so I touched the wall without moving. More, more. Ah, right there, you're holding more. Instead, you're supposed to pipe from the bottom hip, too. That means your upper back only extend, not your hips. Yeah, just a little bit more extension would have been very nice. Bottom knee, Diana. 
Oh, Charlotte, that's so good. Dad dropped the only right. Oh, that was not necessary because you engaged your left leg. I know. From that extension, Shanna, just drop the right feet only, the feet you're trying to land on. On feet, eh? everything else is so stable. Yeah. Too much hip sling. You know, once you rotate, I, I, I really want you to connect with your shoulder the first things and then I want you to push from the shoulder to lift your arm instead of rotate your hip and release your arm that's a two different things Press it and then your hip will go down. 
चल जाए प्रिया ना ओवर स्प्लिट एंड देन वी कैन स्टार्ट आवर शोल्डर्स चल What's going on? Dad. Oh, I didn't realize I was so close to the wall that I would kick it. Oh, okay, okay. Dad. Josie, I feel a bit. Josie just take squeeze or to sit to the ground. Dip this. Squeeze your lower core. Sit. And engage your back knee. Wow, Josie, that's so close. Tap. So after that, are you doing one leg high one? Okay, go for it. Tap. Tap it. Start your shoulders, girls. Diana, do you have another one to wait? Put both of them yet because one I don't think it's enough for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are we doing? Just start. So you have a weights on your butt, right? Ah, you should always use your weights, Shana, to. So use your weight skills. Forehead to the ground, Diana. First one. That targets your shoulders, right? And then lift your head up, engage your neck, round, squeeze your neck muscle to round your upper back. Then that will be your upper back. Two different way. Yeah, Judy, you can understand, yeah? So when you're stretching your shoulder, when you tuck the chin to the chest, forehead down, will get your shoulder. If you engage your neck, lift your head up, round your upper back, that's your upper back. Yeah. Are you ready, Adriana? Keep going, yeah? 
Okay. That your hip just make sure round your upper back right there. Set chest more to the ground. Engage your neck. No, no, no. Bend your elbow. Go on your elbow. Engage your neck. Look up. And then chest to the ground. And then kind of bounce it. Squeeze your neck. Drop the chest to, to the ground you will feel lots of extension through your upper back that i think so yeah i love that just every time you engage your elbow drop your shoulders eh? that's all and then you guys can start your quad stretch Shana, very pretty just control your elbows eh? and then go to your second position bent elbow one that get next stretch. After that, you go to the walk and continue going, girls. Okay? Straight and fingers down. Ah, sit, 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 Diana. Yeah. Yeah. One second, guys. Continue going. Okay?
would be nice, does it? Every time you connect with your extension soy, engage your elbow. Yeah? Yeah. Diana, make sure round your upper back, keep squeezing your shoulder blades. Yeah, Adriana, where did she go? Oh, um, Jordi, did you do your five cobra roll bridges? No. You have to do those, Jordi. Make sure. Okay. Always connect with your cobra roll first. Why? Because you're activating your back muscles. The proper warm up is very important. And then you can start doing your bridges. That, that one is especially Julie, very heavy stretch. Then that's why I really want you to warm up first in order to do it. Yeah. Ah, Diana, go for it. The bridges now. I think that's it. Still, I want you to engage your core, relax your door back, but that was actually nice press here. Yesterday, at least I saw a couple times, like you're not shifting forward and then you're trying to reach up, yeah? So you can lift your leg up, but then if your shoulder is not stabilized, set in the correct position tight, then you get wobbly. There's, you can't sit on it, you know? Yeah. And, and that's why I told you, position your palm, go on your toes, shift. Just give your weight on the transition it on the palm. And then you engage your core only reaching over the shoulder by arching your lower back. So basically, first set is Shift, give your weight, position your shoulder, and then you reach in tall from your top feet. That's all. Yeah. 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 What is it? I feel like I just, um, we're catching up. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I just, what I have to say, I feel the difference a lot. Um, but I think my body's getting confused with too much um, adjustments and also getting on a plane and traveling a lot. <laughs> yeah, and then also, you know, I think it's important for you to stick with the one thing. I think we talked about it. I think you felt it. You already know it's a little confusing right now, right? So it's a better to just a little bit approach. I will really think that from the beginning, I always tell you, please don't get used to that rotated one arm posture, you know? That's different. And then you really just, it, I rather you just learn how to do shoulder shifts, you know? There's lots of contortionists do it like that, but it's really limited thing, you know? I'm sure you, when you start doing it, you can see the difference. <sighs> you really can see the difference to now. Before, you don't think it's hard to understand, right? Yeah. You really get confused, okay, which one is really like correct, you know? But then now you experience it by your body, so you have both of them, you know? And then you're totally mixing both right now, but it's okay. I just want you to get a little bit adjustment more when we were there, and then don't make a change too much when you perform, because it's a very, uh, it's, like a, it's not a good idea. Yeah. Oh, don't roll the chest like that, Adriana. Always elevate your chest, right? Yeah.
За эгэн Адриана. За тэг үг их старт класс рутин гайс. За Жули, can I see your bridge? Адриана go for it. Yeah, I'm watching. Хайпай. За ингэж өгнэ. Yeah, you jumped it though. That's not necessarily Adriana. Um, if you jump, of course you can get up. But you want to press though. You have to keep lifting your head, keep pushing your shoulder, connect with your muscles more. Yeah, Diana. Um, and I would love to have so Julie, where did she go? And then Ah, okay, so in front of the wall, Julie, pizza. let's go to our one minute bridge hold. Um, I would love, so I put weights on your stomach. Pizza. Akila, also put weights on your stomach, let's do one bridge. I still want you to connect with your hip flexor more. Pizza. Pizza, go for it. Head back, butt back, chest to the wall, Diana. More tall and stepping, keep supporting that more. That looks good. Elbow, elbow. Adriana, don't drop the head, stepping. Press on your palm, keep stepping. Julie, I love it. More, scooch the feet, push and scooch the feet right underneath it and support that. Don't lose the push when you move your feet. Ja? Keep pushing the hips, stomach tall. Hold it, hold it. Ja, go on your elbow. Head up, head up, no lifting. On your toes, start marching. On your toes, no pressing, Adriana. Just a head up, head up. Step closer. Back to the bridge, back to your bridge, chest to the wall, just stand up, Diana, so good. Julie, you push, your shift is perfect, but then when you start moving the feet, you're a little bit losing it, you know? So I really want you to keep pushing. And then keep pushing, just move the feet closer, right underneath the hips, yeah? It's hard. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. All of it. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, we can start the, the class routine. Are you guys ready? Yeah? yeah, we're gonna do it like drop down Judy on the wall, yeah? Diana on the wall, drop down. Shana, just join us right after this, you can start your pretzel routine. Yeah, Akisa joined. Yeah, head back, butt back, first position. Hands on the core. Yeah, squeeze your neck and upper back, roll it down to your second position. Yeah, release your hands to the ground and shift over your shoulders, feet, knee together to pike it. Reach to your feet, fingers, go to your one leg up. No, no, one leg up, Adriana. Tall, tall. Just switch your leg. I love it, so tall. Shana, just think it's your standing knee. Kisa also on your elbow. Single step press. One feet. Front leg straight, oh, perfect. Elbow is a little too wide, Dokisa. 
Dad, switch it. Hat back, Diana. Hat back, Todd. Extend. Dad, back to the bridge. Stop. Oh, Dad, stand up. Dad, point your feet and kiss up. Stand up. Dad. Take a little bit rest. I don't think some of you warmed up your chest then. I know at least like Zoe, Shana, you didn't, right? Da, Adriana, you did warm up your pretzel, Akila. Can you guys go to your bridge to grab your feet, head up, scorpion press, straight leg, scorpion back to the bridge, pretzel, straight leg, arms up. Single stack, single stack, snake, back to the bridge. Da, da. Julie, Diana, do it with me. Da. Julie, I really want you to move your feet a little bit more. Da. Like I will measure it and you should measure it too. Put your yoga block sideways in front of the Okay. Right of Not yoga block, sorry, yoga mat, Juicy. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yoga oh, mat, I'm sorry. It's yeah. Okay. Straighten it, Adriana. Sit, squeeze the knee. Oh, gentle, gentle, Adriana. That was very aggressive. Yeah, ja, Juicy, that I. And then it's pressed to the wall, hands in front of the wall. So elbow, 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 chest to the wall and heels down and reach the mat with your heels. Oh, no, no, no. See, Judy. This is what I'm talking about. Can you watch Diana? Put the mat. Diana, heels touch the mat. I want you to measure your bridge like that. Stomach talk, Diana, no dancing. Just control. That's the measurement. You understand, yeah, Diana? But you're like adjusting and dancing. Don't do that. It's extreme muscle engage. I just want you to saddle hold. Da, da, akisa. Over pretzel with the yoga block. Da, and then so, I think you are a little bit too close though. Maybe move it. Ah, and then, so what you need to focus is always pushing to your toes to double your feet is important. Da, push to double, push to double. Da, Diana, one more time. I would love to see Judy one more time. Da? And then I kind of want to time it. Let me time it. Time it. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. Chest to the wall, step in. One more? <laughs> totally do one more, Judy. Okay. Ja, such a good job. Okay, now you can do your, from over the chair, your pretzel. But I want you to do one more, because you didn't reach one minute. Okay. Take a good rest, and then one more. Ja, ja Diana. Oh, that's nice. Still, a little too much. Sometimes you're a little bit moving head and that's not necessary. Da? Also, we're learning how to control our movement muscle, remember? So you have to pay attention to those details. I, 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 um, I would move a little bit in. But I feel I have a bit more space, but I try to move in a bit. And then, um, okay. it's more... But always extending tall to move. Then it's very subtle. Yeah. So, um, 
can I have you and Shana in? I would love to have Akita. Maybe Akita is okay to do start the hand step. Tap. <clears throat> Truly, one more tap. Oh, Adriana, that's a beautiful switch. Sneak it, Adriana. Sit on your head, over your head, arms up now. Feet forward. Yes, more forward, Adriana. Feet. We change. Da. Shana, Soy, Akisa. Ah, Akisa, da. Go for your own practice. First position, girls. Head back, back, back. back. Da. Squeeze your neck and upper back. Roll it down. Engage your neck. Now release your hands and reach to the ground. Head back. Wow, so tap. Reach your heels, girls. So I roll your fingers more than your feet. Ah, roll them same time. So push to your palm. Head back, head back, stomach, toe. Go on your elbow. On your toes, step closer to your fingertips. Tashana, lift up. Soy, one leg up. Chin forward, soy. Chin forward over your fingertips, soy. Shoulder is a little too much out, the soy. Da. Oi, drop the left feet. Hada. Relax, arch your lower back. Switch it. Touch your head, Shana. Lift your head. You got this. Keep going. Don't stop, Shana. Not your shoulder. Shoulder away. And then head up. Ah, head up, head up. Push, push, push. Back, shoulder, back, shoulder. And then head up. Lift. Da, back to the bridge to pretzel dip. So it pretzel, Shana. Oh. Da, straighten the knee. Straighten the knee, Shana. Da, back up. Shana, I, that's the thing. I want you to straighten your leg. Da. So, uh, when you go to the bridge to pretzel dip, you're a little bit bending your knee too much though. That's why it's kind of crashing. So I want you to engage your knee still. And then I want you to engage the neck to lift your head up to press. So can you go through it one more? Shana, can you do your straight leg one more? So that it, we can do the Muraj Act. Akisa. I would love to see you from your side. Bridge to pretzel push-ups. So, um, uh, Julie now, Diana, Julie, Adriana, mountain stretch over the yoga block in front of the wall. So, yeah, go for it. Think can just run the Mirage Act now. So, so is good. I love you a lot, but um, I'm really tired. <laughs> I love you a lot, Sergio, but I'm really tired and I'm gonna save myself for tomorrow and Monday. Um, I ran my solo three times and it worked out. <laughs> okay, that, that, that. Just remember the, um, some of the changes to make sure that Are you guys? Okay? Oh, soy. On your toes, soy. That was good. Da, now, just don't bend. Bend your elbow. 
Don't bend your knee too much and then head, neck right now. So, and then again. And neck, 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 neck. Yes. Yeah, that was a good one though. Because you feel the difference though. It's a little different, right? Yeah, okay. That. Uh, Adriana, can you go to your hand over uh, bridge? Um, can you watch Akisa? She has two yoga block between her feet and arms. It's an overpressure. Jody, make sure get closer. You really want to hook the chin against the wall. Yeah, Shana, can I see straight leg? Yeah. Bend your knee. Bend your elbow. Bend your knee. Yeah, grab it. the knee, Adriana. All the way, hold it, arms up. Arms up. Ah, and then palm down. Don't come out right away. Say. Okay. Josie, how was it? Can you do the pretzel first position over from the chair? I don't know what that is. Um, remember hips on the chair, put the chin yep. on the ground yep. and then uh, okay. that's a good neck and upper back stretch. So, mm -hmm. yeah, drop the stomach on the floor. Oh, that's a good one. Diana, that's a good one. Go for it. Yeah. Arms up. Yeah. Adriana, start your elbow stand, switch legs, and then you can do your scorpion press, straight leg, snake, and then start your handstand. Yeah, uh, so we go on your elbow. On your toes, hat up. Step in, head up, yeah, head up, head up, one feet, lift your other leg this time, yeah, head up, don't pop out your shoulder, yeah, press, pack your butt, Julie. <coughs> I have kind of a pain on that side, so it's always hard for me to start on that side versus the other. Uh -huh. uh, the cramp is there. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. How about, but you can't avoid it, do you know that, right? Yeah. So just, you know, don't press to push that much, but always encourage each time, just go with that side and then you switch the press with your other legs, then you can even it out. Ah, Akita, when you push, don't go forward. So you kind of scooch in with it. Open your elbow wide, release your shoulder, and then push. Yeah, 
Oh, that's don't move your shoulder, Adriana. See, once you engage your elbows a little bit together, once you're up there, you keep like, you know, rocking, you know. Yeah, Shana, come. Where do you feel mostly? You know, like when you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I guess definitely I was feeling like a little bit in the neck because I've been having a stiff neck. Um, uh, yeah, I think I'm just, all this upper stuff feels, um, like, really contract, like, super resistant. Yeah. Yeah, that's so good. How about if you just, like, uh, breathing? How is the breathing? Uh, it's okay. I'm trying, like, when I get in a rough spot, I'm like, okay, just, I'm trying to take a, a breath, like, just rather than leave. Um. <laughs> yeah, just sip the breath from the nose and then always encourage sticking the shoulder to the ground that's okay that's fine. yeah that's a that's a part too where a lot of times my shoulders don't um connect to the floor and they're hovering and i'm just tense <laughs> yeah yeah um it's a uh, that's where that's the that's what i wanted to know Either it's like a relax and you feel the tense muscle or you really hovering it and engaging it and stopping yourself. To That's the same thing, right? Yeah. So you just don't want to stop, engage your muscle too much to stop yourself like that. So make sure okay. you control it. Yeah. Ah, Julie, I think that's a good one. You felt good stretch, yeah? Did you do the chair upper back stretch? I didn't see you doing it today. Put the foam roller on the edge. Yeah, can you finish that? Also, Diana, do that. Da, da, ah, Adriana and Soy. One more elbow stand, mermaid walk, single stack, mermaid walk. Da, and then you can start your handstand, girls. Da, Judy, I would love you to finish that. And then I'm going to do one more bridge and one leg up, other leg up with you. So then you can start your elbow stand. Akisa, um, push-ups, ask Link spot you. And then you do it from the floor. Okay. Jashana, mm -hmm. go for it. So, what is uh, that the thing that Judy's doing? Ah, it's a upper back stretch. Uh -huh. You're lying on top of the foam roller and then you're sitting. I would love you to move the foam roller a little bit down though, Judy. I think it's a little too high. I would love it right under the shoulder. Maybe scooch it to the seat more, your foam roller. No, foam roller, I don't think you have a room. More to the edge. Yeah, and then put your shoulder to lay on top of it. Yeah? Yes, think. Oh, nothing. I was just finding Mirage music. Ah, da. That's it. Hi, kids. Engage your core. Push to the palm, to the wall, Judy. Oh, Diana, so good. Hi, kid, girls. Hi, kid. Elbow, Diana. Nice. Engage and then sit. Engage your elbow and sit.
Juicy, I feel like you're going a little too much to the shoulder. Can you position it right underneath your shoulder blades? You want it right here? Little higher. Here? Uh -huh, right there. Okay. Right here. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, Adriana, I stop it. Just don't move your shoulder. Little gentle. Yeah, that shoulder moving is just really throwing your balance. If you push to lock it, it would be so much better. Yeah. Okay, now we can start the project. So, are you ready? Touch the ground, Shana. Head back, Judy. Head back, push. Lift your butt and scooch it a little bit over the foam roller. Still, it's not your under the shoulder blades. Maybe do this, Julie. Turn your chair round. Put two yoga blocks behind the leg. Turn the block. <coughs> Turn the chair, not the block. Yes. Yeah, put yoga block there. Yeah. Yeah, push the chair. Put your shoulder blades on the chair. Head back, touch the wall, touch the wall, don't sit yet. Ah, that's over your palm, more. That, now sit. Push to your palm to sit. That's upper back, Julie, you understand? Lower the fingers, lower the fingers, just scooch them. Ah, keep going, keep hiking, keep going down your fingers. More. One more. One more. Palm. Palm. Hike it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now Diana do that and then let's do the Mirajak. Shana, make sure go through it. I know that your muscles, they kind of certain times get tired or you kind of get like feel the tension there and it's important for you to just like go through it with the movements don't stop because i know you are capable of doing everything in this act and i really like i said don't stop yourself yeah, yeah it's just like there's no feelings shana i just always tell you guys right i i joke but it's kind of true um we don't have feelings <laughs> yeah you just have to keep rolling it <laughs> yeah otherwise it's just like affects us you know so it's like oh i don't feel good or i'm tired you don't want to listen to that yeah yeah, let's go for it. Um, Akisa, are you ready? Let's run the Mirage Act. Yeah, Adriana, join this. So, I don't think I can run it just because my breathing's still not great today, but I can play the music. Okay, yeah, go for it. Make us almost? Hmm? Can you make us almost? Of course. Yeah. I almost put you in the way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Go for it. That why I want to listen. Adriana, listen and then join. Listen and then both of you. Arms up. Arms down. 
step front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And bridge. Adriana. And hold. Down to elbows. Yeah. Knee up. Single stack press. Hold. Top look straight. Back to bridge. Stand up. We pose. Right hand bridge. Pretzel. Single stack. Put your leg down first and slide into split. Ah, no, that one is coming later. <laughs> ah, so, kick into uh, the Shana. I think you just totally rotate. Keep your back right over here. So we're going to just do it piece by piece. So, so Adriana, why you didn't do it? I was watching to see what was first. I, I, I didn't know what this is, so. Ah, okay. So I would love you to just say, it's on my channel, the Mongolian Contortion Center. There is a video. It's called Mirage Act Rehearsal Video. So you can watch that. And then, uh, like every movement, you can do it. I just want you to just like get familiar with the names and the movements. The? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Diana. Julie, let's start our banana to scorpion out both stands on the water. So, I would love soy kick into your single stack pretzel switch leg snake. Can you show me that? Like I just wanna see where you are here. Dashana, I would love you to start your bridge to pretzel single stack. Yeah. Mm, just sneak it, shoulder down. Shoulder down, feet to the wall. And bend your knee, that's about it. Yeah, drop the feet to the ground, drop the shoulders. Arch, 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 arch. keep encouraging your arch. Shoulder to the ground, leave the feet right there, stick the shoulder to the ground. Open elbow. Yeah, come out. Yeah, that was nice to show it. Very nice, yeah. Da, I would love you to start your handstand step. Akisa, are you doing the leg? What are you doing? Ah, that one. Kick into your handstand though. Butt over your head, over your head. Switch, snake, butt over your head, butt over. Da, drop your feet gently to the ground, back to the bridge. Yes, this is what I'm talking about, Shana. Da. You have to complete your movement and then 
You know, there will be challenges. It's not always feels good, your muscles, you know, depending on how much workout you're putting and it kind of like reacts different each day. It's a very normal, it's a life muscle, you know, that's like, in fact, it's the same for everything. It's not only for contortion. So your goal should be your exercises to complete. It's not about how much I can do today. No, it's for everybody, Adriana. I think Julie is really doing good. So I think we're always like pushing, but then you kind of understand. I would love you guys to push a little bit more, Adriana, at this stage, um, Shana. Um, because when you enter the class, you wanna, Complete your exercises. That's your methodology should be. Yeah? Not like, okay, how far I can go today? I'm just gonna try. Don't do that anymore. So that one only in the beginning when we are settling our muscles, getting to know these exercises, movements. It's new. That's why we kind of have to give it time to like adjust, you know? But now, we need to control, not your muscle to control you, you know? So that's why I'm telling you, Shana, no feelings. You have to drop everything and you just have to focus on your exercise. After the exercise, you can do whatever you want, okay? But during the exercises, you come with that attitude. Yeah, and you just need to complete those numbers complete those movements and then what you need to really connect with is important for you to just say enjoy it how i just want you to like really like uh, proud of yourself like wow i just you know i did this movement and let me do this like positive energy let me do this a little bit more what can I achieve today, right? Those are motivates us. Otherwise, I understand that like, you're dealing with the sore muscle. There's lots of like uh, adjustments happening. It's uh, very difficult to sometimes like deal with that, right? Yeah. That's why uh, go for your handstands, girls. Julie, how many times you did your elbow stand? I did one banana and one scorpion, so I have one more banana and one more scorpion left. Okay, perfect. I have finished that. And then Diana, um, for Judy, it's always like encouraging to lower the feet. Just a little bit more left, just a little bit more drop feet. And generally, your postures are perfect. For the and I really the, uh, or the for the scorpion encouraged scorpion body. yeah banana is pretty locked posture though all you need to do is lock right but mm -hmm. scorpion we're encouraging our arch okay. so you want a little bit more further pushing is good diana i love no no don't take the feet off you just drop the feet down by pushing on the wall you don't want to release it if you release it you can't reach your back though you know and then I, the way you're pushing yourself is like perfect, and I really loved the bridge, Julie also, that it's a coming together. I really see the difference in your line today, Julie, that very beautiful. <clears throat> um, only thing for Diana, I just want you to not to adjust too much, that I think that kind of makes you confused sometimes, yeah. You feel like you're doing it, but then you're skipping importance of lock, that connecting with the specific muscles, you know? Yeah. Ja. Um, the Shana, Soy, Adriana, let's do girls split, hit, double stack, switch to other side in double stack, split, come out. Ja. Number one drill. Number two will be split, 
straddle split switch. Yeah? So then we can start holding hands then after that. Then we can do our push-ups. Akita, start your hands then. Perfect. Yeah. I'm not pushing you too much, Akita. But um, we need to get pushed. So when I get back, okay. until then, I just, because I'm going to be gone for a while though. I think once my breathing is back to normal, I should be able to return to normal routine. Yeah. So I still have some online classes. Though. I think you just check on the um, my page. Okay. But at Circus Center, I canceled everything. So I might keep Wednesday advanced class. Huh? Yeah, because Christopher can't cover that. I just need to see. Um, and then just get back to it. When, we, when I come back, I really want you to just like I'm gonna stretch you a little bit more deeper so okay. we we'll need to just step more arch 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 elbow that's perfect see elbow elbow when you do the movements when you move the leg you just very aggressively move you notice because your back leg went only, your front leg didn't connect. You want to lift your both legs same time though. So, and then you want to engage your neck a little bit. That will help your shoulder lock. That Josie, you're done? No, I'm not. Okay, that finish it. You kind of want to do it like banana to scorpion though, back to back. So. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shana, that's beautiful. Yeah, engage your neck, engage your lower core, switch it. Hold it, hold it. Bridge to pretzel. Both feet down, bridge to pretzel. Yeah, just don't think anything straight in the leg. Knee straight. Yeah, go again. That was so perfect. The way I look at it. Oh, Chini. Yeah, ignore it. It's okay. It's a little bit hard on the hardwood floor, but that's usually. Shana, if you get used to that, it's yeah. like. So much better posture though. Oh, better okay. than doing it on the soft things, you know? Okay. Uh, it's okay, you just put a little bit like a bandage there. That's oh. Oh, oh wow. Okay, I never tried it on the floor. I thought I was like, this isn't right. Okay, okay. No, no, that's perfect. It's just a little bit hard in the beginning because it's hard, you know? But it's a really like a uh, Better okay, okay, I'll work on <laughs> Easier on your breathing too, right, Akita? You, you got used to the floor, Akita, or not yet? Got used to handstands on the floor, or what? No, chin stand, harder floor. Oh, yeah, I think you get used to it, but I still don't do it too often, just because I feel like if it's too regular, then it does irritate the chin. What is it? I don't do it too often on the hardwood floor. I feel like it irritates the chin. Ah, okay. Uh, irritates the chin. No, I think it's a... Uh, just get sore, maybe. I don't know. My skin is really sensitive, so I get, like, a little scab sometimes. So I put this on under, and it seems to work well. I know. That one is nice. It uh, elevates it. But also, like, if... You know, we're just, like, nourishing it. But if you have like a, any twist in the neck, any like a breathing issue, it's important to keep it harder surface. Then it adjusts itself very nicely. And then once you get that, we can start putting something soft under the chin just to comfort it, right? But in general, 
Shana in the posture wise it's better. The hardwood floor is so much better. The okay, go for it. The kita the handstand. Adriana, handstand. Julie, can I see your handstand on the wall? Banana, thirty seconds. Scorpion, thirty seconds. Adriana, no. Touch the wall by your toes. Squeeze your knee, heels together. Just hold it, feet on the wall. Hattock soil, it's so pretty soil. Only thing is head, neck, that's all. Oh, not forward though, just engage. Just switch it. You know soil, just a tiny little detail there. I would love you to engage your elbow four times. Eh? Then you don't have to crash to the shoulder. And then if you, when you, when I say engage your neck, you went lean forward though. Instead of doing that just on the spot. Because your posture is already there. You know, it's beautiful. Ah, oh, Diana, neck, that's all. Just switch it. Arch your lower back. Akita, go for it. And uh, let me see, Julita. I keep missing you, Julita. I'm just going to focus on you. Oh, God. Head up. Slide your hips. Head up, stop it. Engage your neck. Look up. That's it. Keep encouraging that. So hold it, hold it. It's only 10 seconds. Mm, Shana, press back up, Shana. Keep holding it, Julie. Ja, bend your knee now. Beautiful, Shana. Drop the front feet. Don't engage them too much. Ah, head up. I think your little foot land on your feet though, Julita. I think you were a little too close. Maybe put the hands a little bit farther away from the wall. Okay, Julie. And then that's it. <clears throat> Another 30 seconds. And uh, Adriana, keep going. Sir. Banana, one minute. Scorpion, one minute. Back to back. Don't come out, Adriana. Don't try to take the feet off and balance. Diana was also a little too close to the wall though. You know? That. So one more handstand. Put the two yoga block, put the hand balance in the block and then kick up to your freestanding. <clears throat> Don't touch the wall. That. Julie, one more time. Is it okay? And then you can go down. Yeah, I'm just resting. Give me one minute. <laughs> okay. See, I'm nice to you. Because I'm trying to adjust this stuff. <laughs> and then once you adjust, your muscles is good. I'm like, no, go for it, Julie. <laughs> no feelings. <laughs> no feelings. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Shoulders a little bit away from the wall. Uh, Diana, ah, and then only engage the neck. Ja, Shana, can you start your push-ups now? Or we can do one pommel handstand also. Ja? I would love that. Yeah. Ja, Adriana, hold it. Scorpion, did you do it back to back or you just come out? Back to back, okay. Ja. I would love you to do your tic-tac now. Ja? Akita, just go to your handstand, hold it, 30 seconds each, switch to your other side, 30 more seconds. Ja? You want to show that to Link? Ja, show it to her. Oh, Adriana, that's a very aggressive. Uh, for us, Adriana, we have to reduce that speed though. Because in general, 
you know how to do this movement. But important for us is just slow it. Imagine you're in a slow mode. More control you need to develop. So, go for it. So you're too close. Uh, to the wall, away from the wall. So, top leg only kick Adriana instead of whole body. Just press, no, one leg up. Uh, step closer Adriana. And then one leg up, extension. So, hold your punche. Can you not do kick? So, chin forward. Ah, now hop on it, exactly. Too fast, too fast. It's like very small movement is better. Okay, think if you spot her, get closer. Ah, otherwise it's going to be a little bit difficult then. Da, go for it. Da, and then just try not to catch her. Usually she does it. Da. It's just the fear. So, hand up a little bit when you kick it. Not a straight handstand then. I no. thought I was supposed to kick into a straight handstand. No, no, no. Contortion on that. I would love you to do your con split handstand contortion. Also, Shanata, split kick, double stack, switch, double stack, split. After that, you can perform it, Shana, and then start your push ups. I love it, Diana. Just point your toes down, don't scooch it. Point it. Engage your neck. Point your feet. Yeah. That's it, Jana. Feel it. Connect with it. Lock the shoulder and then very gentle move your legs, switch it. Engage your core. I would really prefer if your back knee is also bent, Doshana. Then it's a little bit different connection. Because when your one leg is straight, it's a little different when you start moving it. The weight is different. You know, the way you're engaging your muscle makes it different because one is more active, one is more relaxed. Uh, push ups and then kick to your straight handstand, Julie's uh, switch leg kicks. Akisa, you needed to move your butt a little bit over your shoulder. Don't finish it yet. Diana, two minutes hold, and then you can start your pull down. Uh, two minutes hold in what? Just to hold? Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and then also in Archer's workshop, I, I want you to take the hand balancing technique he gives you very good like a direction and of course you absorb so you don't challenge yourself too much there and then also most importantly the way you connect with your extension the way he connects with each individual isolation to the joints and warm up how to work on your breathing to flexibility it's a, Really nice. I just want you to focus on that more when you do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then cool down, Diana. 
And um, Julie just stay a little after the push-up handstand. I think Adriana, how long did you hold it? Oh, Akita is a bit. Diana, arch to finish it. Akita, just a little bit more uh, complete your posture. Yeah, my arms are feeling really shaky today, so it feels extra scary going over. Uh -huh. And then you just land on your bosom, palm also, Mister. Because you don't want to crash to the floor. Imagine the floor is water. <laughs> How many times did you just jump into pools, huh? <laughs> I made soy do one time. Did you ever get it after soy? Remember we did handstand and then we went to the pool. I'm sorry, I totally just missed that. <laughs> Oh, it was you or who was it? We did, we, like, one of you were in vacation. Oh, that was me in the pool? Yes, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought I got confused or something. So I, I get really scared to, like, get out of the contortion handstand or the scorpion handstand. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's why I'm always, like, trying to do it against the wall. So I've been practicing with a mat because I get so scared to just... Like with a mat, it feels less scary to fall down. Exactly. But then also, I kind of want you to encourage twist shoulder out. Step. Ah, in that way, it's less scary. I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> shoulder twist, you don't know? Well, I mean, I think I can understand out of a straight handstand, but with your feet over. Oh, exactly the same. Exactly the same. And just turn. And then drop the head open. Usually when you turn your shoulder, it just rolls you out. Your body rolls you out, you know? Can you try it now? I don't know, maybe. Okay. Now, one second. I just need to charge my computer. I guess I one more time. but then you went too fast that means you're engaging your leg too much so. also Diana and so if you join the cluster also knowing the difference of the contortion shoulder posture and straight handstand posture so. And I noticed in Mongolia, some people were very confused about that. It's a completely two different thing though. You have to absorb it in a certain line. And if it's a straight line, it's completely different, right? And then when it comes to contortion, the approach is same, but then posture is very different, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted to tell you. You just did straight hand balance in Diana, and then I think uh, uh, if I do it a uh, contortion style, I feel like it's about on the bicep, like it's not on the arms pushing. Exactly. But if it's straight, I can lock and kind of more just rest on the stacking. Very good. It's more centered. That's why it's a total shoulder. Yeah? And then when it comes to contortion, the muscle arm is more bicep and yes. soy muscle but the press to approach the shoulder is a little bit more different more like a more general than straight hand balancing you know so it's a little bit like a different isolation so really it should have been two minutes contortion handstand oh hold when we do it that banana is like you don't have to arch so much but then the posture, it helps you to hit the contour.